A lot of old traditions um, can become forgotten, I think, and, and clearly this is part of the, the the history of Christianity on the island. You know, so sort of very you know we can sometimes forget that you know sort of post-Reformation sort of things sort of fell by the wayside, and a lot of the traditions that we would have had with that. In the 13th century, in 1249, we find in the Chronicles of Man uh, a miracle which is attributed to, to Our Lady of Russian, uh, and it's nice to sort of um, just restore that, and of course the use of the Manx. Um, when people would address Our Lady of Russian, back in the day in 1249 of Domnall, um, he would have used Manx. So we have the, the, the use of Manx for that here. So, and, and it's to keep that, that sort of, that identity alive. Let's uh, re, re, well, reclaim it, I suppose, and then and f for, a, for a modern day audience. And it's again, um, although it's particularly a Catholic devotion, uh, it's not, it shouldn't be seen exclusively as that. Everyone, even non Christians, are welcome to come. Just some, spend some time at the shrine and make their petitions and then and join us on the walk. And it's, and it's, a, it's a lovely way of, of sort of connecting. Mm -hmm.